Eyes are considered to be the window to the soul and today we are looking at the eye pro tool that is available on the blender market hey what's up guys and welcome back to ask nk today we're going to take a look at the procedural eye tool that you can get for yourself right now this tool is made available by quintus malice and i've actually been in contact with the developer and i thought this is pretty nice so i can share it with you guys now if you want to work with this it comes with 40 color presets and an infinite amount that you can mix up and get some realistic looking eye for yourself so in case you're trying to work with a model or you're trying to recreate a certain pattern for an eye you don't necessarily need to go through all of that hassle as you can actually get started with this so without further ado we're going to dive directly into blender we're going to take a look at how this tool works and what and what you would get once you proceed to purchase this now with this open here in blender you would notice we have a very realistic looking eye all right so right here you can actually see this looks pretty cool so if we go over to the shader this is exactly how it opens once you get it you would notice from this part you have a color ramp which means you can dial things on and off depending on where you want to get here and if you want to make some color choices and you want to make color changes you can also proceed to do that so this really makes sense so if you're into things like this you might actually find this one very useful. Now, another beautiful thing that you would also notice is once we are making these changes, you might probably not see it here. Now, the reason is because we are looking at the green iris. Let's actually go ahead and take that out and plug this right in. And once you plug it right in, you can see an update to what we have. Now, with this update here, it means you can simply go back and make a couple of choices and make some changes. So if you're not getting the exact kind of iris or eye color that you're going for, you can actually you know use this one now if you also want to play with the ones that comes with this there is a tetra iris so let's go ahead and plug that mm. there is also the tetra 5 and then we have some you know some other cool ones here now if you take a look here you would see that there is a couple of annotations which are things that you can play with so at this point you can mix and match all of this right now it's about 40 so you can plug this this is the original output so anything you plug directly to this output works this is where you want to make some procedural stuff so in case you want to tweak things by yourself you can do that there but if you want to play with these ones you can also proceed to play with them now if you also want these to influence what is going on here what you can do is you can plug this right here so we have that there and then you can simply plug this right here all right so once you go ahead and plug this right here it reads the iris coming from this part all right so it reads what is coming from here contrary to you know what you have right here so depending on the kind of eye that you want to create this actually works and you know it will definitely do you so much good now another thing that i would like to share with you guys is at a point where you're working with this you would notice that we have a couple of shape keys here so let's just simply dive through and talk about these shape keys real quick i will get this so let's get the aqua iris all right so we're getting this aqua iris and i'm going to just simply plug this right there here so let's simply bring this all the way up okay so at this point you can choose to you know play with how close or how open you want the original iris to look like you can also choose to play with the cat version so in case you want this to act like that of a cat you can also proceed to do that and all of these things are you know shape keys so they are all key frameable then we also have these other one that you can use so in case you want to animate where a cat you know simply jumps out of maybe it being scared or something like that you can do something like this let's set this all the way back to zero and of course you can play with uh, some stylized ones here like the hats or maybe you're also thinking about working with something that looks like that of a dragon you know things like this and you can also use this for something like a sheep as well i think sheeps you can use this for that and you can also play with these ones as well and at the same time you can mix these things together and get some pretty cool stuff so if you are into creating you know characters and you don't want to spend time creating eyes or walking over and over trying to get the perfect eye then you can also use this tool something else that you can do is you can also mix these things together so i guess a lot of people would want to ask if you can mix this yes you can so you can just simply use the mix rgb feature and you can use that so if i plug this right there and we use this and plug this right around here and proceed to plug the other one so let's simply zoom all the way out 
and get this other one which is you know the tetra and plug this one right here so let's simply get that there okay so we can now have that blend now you can choose to you know procedurally play with these things and get some cooler features out of it now if you want these to have some mixing you can mix that if you want to make some changes so in the case of animating the eye you can so you can animate this eye like this and you can also animate the eye like this and you can also animate the eye like that all right so you have all of the flexibility instead of spending time building this thing yourself i think it's best to actually support the developers and also support you know uh the persons creating this thing and also get this tool for yourself all right so with all of this said let's take a look at how you can use this tool once you have your own model so i'm going to simply bring suzanne the monkey right here and then we're going to hit Control 3 to subdivide her. Next thing which we need to do is just simply apply this, press the tab key, press 3 on your keyboard to switch over to the face mode. And I'm going to select the both faces. You know, for the eye, I'm just going to select the face here and also another face here. Go over to where we have select, go right here, select the linked one and simply press the delete key. Now, after pressing the delete key, all you need to do is just select the face and you have, you know, gotten rid of that. The next thing which you need to do is to bring in the file as you know as an appended file so for us to get that going i need to click on file go over to where we have append and from here i'm just going to simply make sure that i have the file loaded right in and once you double click on your blend file you can go over to where you have as object select the iris and the scalera and also click on append so once you do that you would notice you have the eye right here and I'm going to press S on the keyboard to simply scale that down. Now, after scaling this down, I can easily move this around. And once you jump over to your shading, so let's simply position this where we want it to be, somewhere right about here. All right. So once we do this and we go over to our shading, the first things you notice is we have some sort of reflective eye. Now, why this is happening is because right here, we have not told Eevee that we want to make sure that we have the refraction turned on. So once you make sure you have your refraction turned on and probably maybe increase the thickness right now, 0.2 looks nice, but you can, you know, go ahead and increase the thickness to about three, something like that. That would also work. Another thing that you might also want to do is to make a copy. So if you simply hold down shift and D, and make a copy the only thing that you make copy of is the iris which is not what you would like to do now the reason why that is happening is because right here under the iris or within the iris this object is not set to a selectable so for you to get this as a selectable object you need to go over to the filter and right here you need to make sure that you have it turned on now once you have this turned on you also need to make sure that you have the scalera turned on as well and with that you'll be able to select the bolt so i can simply select that and this and hit shift and d and position this right here so with this now it is very easy for you to go over to your shader and start making some changes and it's as easy as that for you to start playing with the i tool and you know you can use this for several use cases at the same time if you want to animate the eye of course you can simply animate the eye and if you're looking for ways to get some pretty cool eyes that you can use for your model instead of consistently think about how you can go ahead and create these things shade them or even spend excessive amount of time researching on what eye you're working on or what eye your character actually needs you can simply use this tool and get things up and running so this is about it if you want to see more details about this i'm going to put a link in the description if you want to purchase this this is a very pretty cool tool so if you're looking for realistic eye or maybe you're looking for a, a procedural eye tool or maybe you're looking for something that you can use with your character so that you can just simply focus on working on the character contrary to spending several amount of manpower and resources trying to figure out the perfect eye that you need then of course you should actually take a look at this and you could notice that this developer is actually contributing to the developers fund which is extremely extremely useful so this is about it if you want to get this link is going to be in the description and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace